Okay, so in this video, we are going to be installing the Attack Blue air filter for the C8 Corvette. And I'm gonna get some kind of first impressions, like what it drives like now, what it drives like when I actually have it, and how it all works and how I feel, and if it's any different, because it's supposed to add anywhere from 10 to 12 horsepower and like 10 to 12 torque or so around there. So we'll see what the difference feels like across the board. <laughs> Um, we'll see what the difference is like, but in the meantime, one thing I wanted to talk about um, because I feel like there's no videos on this is cleaning like leather seats. So, <laughs> can you hurry? I am ready to leave. <laughs> so I've got the Sky Cool Gray interior, which is essentially white. And when I first bought the car, like around a year ago, I was obviously worried about it being white and not being able to clean it well. But I mean, I pretty much daily drive this car and the easiest way to take care of it is just make sure you use a good leather cleaner on it consistently. And the one that I use that works and I literally just use a microfiber towel with this leather cleaner, this Meguiar's one, it works really well. Like I've even had when um, like the mechanic has been looking at my car to like change stuff, he got it dirty one time, I like freaked out, um, but it cleaned everything up. So both on, the seat and the side, it works really well. But what I'm gonna do now is drive without the Attack Blue air filter, see how it feels, and then it's supposed to be here tomorrow. And if it's here tomorrow, I may do another drive just to see what it's like. But if not, today's gonna be my impression with it. I mean, I've been driving with it for a couple thousand miles as well. So that's what this is gonna be. And yeah, see ya. Okay, so we are now replacing the air filter. We have done just about everything. Now just time to pop that off, put in the new one, and then hopefully we can get some good gains. So here you go, Ashlyn, you can report this part. Oh my gosh, you're moist. <laughs> There's six, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, here it goes. Sometimes the... Careful, the red thing's coming off. Yeah, sometimes the red thing comes off. Okay. Right. I guess it's orange, huh? Yeah. Now this can be a little tough to wiggle off sometimes. Oh. There you go. And this is the old one. Ew. You think it's dirty? Yeah. It's a Look at dirty. it. That's kind of gross. Okay. Cool. There's okay. a leaf. Yeah, oh my gosh. Leaves. His name's Fred. <laughs> <laughs> we can clean this out real quick. Can I speak or not? Yeah, sure. Like, about? Uh, yeah, hold on a sec. Okay. So there's that. Now let's kind of fit this back in. This little sealant. Thing. Got everything off. We got the old filter. Now, time to replace it with this one. So it says that you can get horsepower gains anywhere from seven to 12 horsepower and seven to 12 torque. So hopefully that's what happens, but. It's blue. Yep, attack blue air filter. And then this notch goes up. Okay, and then they said that it can be hard to wiggle on sometimes. Mine was literally, that was the easiest thing. On every other video I watched, it was like really hard to put on for them. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's warm here. Yeah, we live in Florida. It's yeah, so a benefit of living in Florida. Well, there it is, a Taku air filter. Brand Yippee! new filter. Now to put everything back on, start it up, and hear if it sounds in. All right, well, 
everything is installed and I feel like I feel like it was the exhaust was maybe a little bit more aggressive or like the intake was a little bit more aggressive um, but I really can't tell yet so I want to see if it feels any different initially the computer will need a little bit of time to like pick up right we put the thing in we're going to be giving it extra air which is in turn going to be giving the engine more power and if that's the case it, i mean it, it's just going to take the the computer a little bit longer to learn so let's see i'm just going to do i'm going to drive around a little bit make sure the engine is warm I'm definitely gonna do like some zero to 60 times if I if I find a road now see what it's like okay so been driving around for a couple minutes now and it definitely feels a little bit different kind of near like the top end it's not like there's a little bit more for it to give it's not like crazy but I I feel like I can tell a difference um, maybe because my brain is tricking me into it but I don't think so the throttle feels a little bit different, and at the top end, it feels different too. So, I'm gonna do my engine's warmed up, um, tires are good. I'm gonna do a quick zero to 60 time and see if it's any different. See if anything feels different there. Um, so, yeah, here we go. I'll record that here in a minute. Okay, we are going to try zero to 60 time. We've got performance, traction management, and sport two. Everything's all warmed up. Let's see what we can go. See what we can get going. Yep, yep, yep. It totally, it definitely hooked. Look at that. Zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds and very first launch and only in Sport 2. And it felt way different. Like, really different. And I was running out of road quick because I, I didn't have a perfect straightaway, but wow. I think I could totally beat that. We had a little bit of problem hooking up in first gear, but once the tire stuck, like we really planted it. It definitely felt different. Like, I think I could totally get a 2.8, maybe a 2.7, but for the first one, it didn't feel perfect. It felt like there was still more there, and it felt different for sure. Like, no doubt about it, the way it pulled and how it felt way different. So I'm really satisfied so far. I think the computer still hasn't had enough time to learn yet. Um, and I mean, that just is crazy. Like imagine if, you know, in a couple days when the computer has a little bit more time to learn everything. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy. So uh, this is really cool. The attack blue air filter is definitely worth it. I feel like a couple things that I'm initially noticing just kind of sum everything up. One, I feel like the throttle response is a little bit different in a good way. Um, I feel like the sound, it just sounds a little bit more aggressive. And I think it's the intake. I mean, once again, this air filter is allowing more air to come in. The engine is sucking up more air. So with that being the case, I think the intake noise sounds a little bit different. And then finally, it just feels like it really pulls more. Like it just, now, I mean, you it's a fast car regardless stock, okay? But with this, it just feels like there's even more there. And even if it, I don't know, you know, if it's seven, 10, 12, I've seen some people saying it's like 15 horsepower. I, I really doubt it's 15 just from an air filter. <clears throat> but I think seven to 12, I mean, just like on Attack Blue's website, seven to 12, I think it's a 12 pound feet of torque, 12 horsepower. I mean, I could totally believe it. You can feel it near the top end. I can totally tell on a launch that it gives it more air and I can hear intake noise a little bit too. So overall, solid stuff. Uh, five out of five, 10 out of 10. Don't have both hands right now though. And yeah, this car just continues to deliver. <clears throat> There's a couple of other things that I think about doing. So this is the first modification I've done in my car besides some like interior component bits, like adding, um, here, I'll show you guys now, like adding uh, carbon fiber trims there,
carbon fiber paddles. So besides that, um, that's the only other mod I've really done. And I think the next thing I'd want to do is um, an exhaust system to add 20 horsepower is what I want to get from that. Um, maybe even some headers or downpipes. Um, I want to get to around the 600 range, a little bit higher. Um, I want to get over that 600 horsepower mark, right? Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any recommendations on what I should be doing next to my C8, because it is fairly stock besides the air filter, um, and it's a great mod, um, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want more stuff like this. Like this video if you liked it.